Hi folks, Jerry Rogers here with Mr. Rogers Windows. You know, a lot of folks ask me, what's so good about your Anderson window? And especially the glass, it makes up 85% of the window. Isn't every glass the same? Well, no, all glass is not created equal. And I wanted to show you uh, the differences between the types of glass that are available. Of course, this is a single pane of glass. This is what a lot of folks have when we get to the house. And I just wanted to demonstrate to you how inefficient that is, is stop from stopping the heat from building up inside your house. Inside there I have an infrared heat uh, bulb which will heat up to about 250 degrees. In fact, it will get so hot at times it will crack that single pane of glass. But I have a, a thermal temperature gun here that will measure the temperature of that glass with that heat beating through and you can see it's 107 degrees on this one. Well, the next thing that they came up with is double pane glass. It's just two pieces of glass. We've all seen it because every, every one of us has seen it when it clouds over and you can't see out of it anymore. Well, the reason they did that is to try to create a dead airspace to make it more insulating. And it did help, but still, you know, that sun's rays have just traveled billions of miles uh, to hit the glass. Uh, an extra inch of dead airspace, you know, is gonna help a little bit, but not a lot. And you can see it's down to 87 degrees. The last one was 107 degrees. So it does help a little bit. The, the other uh, type of glass is called a standard low E. And that's where they put a coating of tin oxide on the glass. And that's just designed to reflect heat back to its source. And it helped. It's one of the advancements in glass technology that actually helped. You can see when I turn that light on, on the standard low E glass with the tin oxide on it, we've got a temperature of about 82 degrees. So it decreased the amount of heat coming through your windows in the summertime. What Anderson did was they stepped it up a little bit. And this is what I think makes our glass different and, and very, very unique to the industry. They used silver oxide coating instead of tin oxide. The biggest difference, the biggest way to explain the difference is your mirror in your house is made up of many layers of silver oxide. The mirror in the old gas station on the side of the road is made up of tin oxide. You've seen how they all get cloudy and chip and everything. Well, it's cheaper to make the gas station mirrors out of tin oxide. Your mirror in your bathroom, you want to have a nice reflective surface. Well, the silver is going to reflect at a much greater rate than the tin. So Anderson's decided to use silver oxide on their glass. In addition to that, they filled between the glass with an argon nitrogen gas blend. Now, all that is is a much thicker molecule than air, dead air space. And so it's going to slow down the transference of that heat through the glass. So if we look at this glass, you can see here at 77 degrees. So we went from 107 degrees down to 77 degrees with the different types of glass packages that are available. Let me ask you a question. If it were 107 degrees outside on a hot July day and you had your thermostat set at 75, which glass do you think would be more efficient for you in getting that 77 degree temperature cooled down to what your thermostat was set at? Or would you rather be cooling the 107 degree temperature down to 77? And which do you think would cost less on your, on your heating and cooling bills? By the way, that works the same for you in the winter time as it does the summertime. So that's the difference between the glass packages that are available for you on the market today. Mr. Rogers Window.